Hey guys, welcome back. Todd here again with Hobby Link Japan, and it is time for another scenic review. So, a few weeks ago, I reviewed these three you are looking at right here. This is Customize Scene Base 1, 2, and 3. And today, we've got another exciting customized scene base to talk about. Now, before we get into talking about this latest and greatest new scene base, be sure to be a, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Every last subscriber definitely helps our channel. Okay, with that out of the way, it is time to get into the scene base. So, yes. If you haven't seen the review yet for these initial three releases in the scene base lineup, please be sure to check out that video as well. So they launched this scene base lineup with these three here. Definitely be sure to check out the video because I, I showed this first one off here with a bunch of the 1144 scale RX-78s and that looks quite cool with all these kind of stacked together. This one is in the same vein as the desert and the snowfield, but it's not like an, one of those like, oh, what would you say, naturalistic type of scene. It is an actual like city style scene base here and this looks quite cool. So there's a few things to really kind of talk about here. So what's cool about this one here is it might be hard to see on the camera because it is the same exact shape as the other snow and the desert fields ones. You get that nice hexagon shape. But this one actually has the ability to break down into smaller three separate pieces which are each shaped like a diamond so that is quite cool so when you buy one of these customized scene base which is called the landscape version this is number four you get three of those small little diamonds as you can see in the back you've got the little field that's like a park like a city type park and then you've got a kind of a slightly lower this is more like a residential type district you got some kind of light uh, commercial style business going on in there and you've got your houses so this is these are kind of more like uh because Bandai is based in Tokyo, so this really kind of looks more like a city, like what you would see in like Tokyo than say maybe New York or some other foreign type of city. But yeah, at least uh, I think for me, at least it looks kind of a bit similar to like what you can expect to see around like Tokyo. So you get the this diamond here with the more low rise style buildings to it, the residential, the houses, some light commercial district. And then you got the more of a mid rise style of building here. So. And they look quite cool. They are really nicely detailed, I have to say. But they're not painted, so if you do want to have this look more realistic, you are going to have to paint that by hand. When it does, when it is painted though, at least from what I saw in the picture in the manual, it looks quite nice. And actually, I'll bring that over so you can take a peek at that right here. So here they show off on the manual. If you were to go crazy with painting the scene base, you can kind of see exactly how this might look and you'll note there is a pole sticking out in the middle there and i'll show that off in a little bit here too but yeah if you wanted to paint this by hand then that is going to look quite quite stunning i do have to say all right so then let's pick this up here and yeah so this comes with these three diamond pieces and then on the underside of this piece you can see how the pieces are connected together so it gives you these little Connecting now this is going to be the same between the other uh, Scene bases as well. So you use these little pieces to connect all the, the little scene bases together And you also use them to connect the three diamonds together to make one of these scene bases So each one of the landscape version does come with three of the clips to be able to connect these together Which is quite nice and then you can mix and match them how you would like so also this scene base comes with this pole so with this pole, what you can do, each one of these diamonds has, and we can see it on the underside here, there is actually a hole that is hiding on the each on in the middle of each one of the diamonds. So let's go ahead and let's remove one of the ones from the city. Let's go for the one, the taller building one here. So right now on the other side of it you saw the hole on the on the bottom but on the top side this is actually being covered by one of the buildings 
So let's go ahead and use my finger on the underside there to kind of push that to make it a bit loose so I can wiggle it out here with my finger. Ta-da! And actually now that that's removed, we can kind of get a closer look at one of these buildings. You can really see that nice detail that they have on the buildings, as well as the nice details on the roof. So you can see like where they would have like the HVAC aircon units and water tanks and that kind of stuff on the top of the building. So really nicely detailed. So once we have this building removed, then you can see the space where that the stand is going to go and we're going to be able to plug this into the hole like so and then this is going to make it so that you can actually pose a Gundam kit on it so let's go ahead and zoom this out a little bit here whoops you can see the foot of my RX-78 there so I brought with me today I have my this is the Revive RX-78-2 kit I didn't bring the Beyond Global I didn't bring the Origin kit I decided to go with the Revive because I, I think this guy is going to be the easiest to work with on me he's a really solid kit and basically he's pretty simple so and he definitely works with this stand so you just have to jam it up into that hole in his crotch and then you have the unit on the display base and then you can go crazy with kind of maybe like posing this thing if you want so and there we have it so what do you think does that look kind of quite cool i think personally i think that looks quite cool that little city base down below and you got your giant gundam no i do have to wonder if these buildings are actually really in 1144 scale because of course the HG kit is going to be 1144 scale now it doesn't uh, well actually it says here on the manual it's there it says 1144 scale but really if the buildings are actually in 1144 scale I'm not quite certain but at least it looks quite cool with that Gundam posed over the top of it alright so with and actually why I kind of doubt that it might be 1144 scale I'm going to show off why I have my doubts about that in a little bit because I've got something else that I think goes really well with these customized scene bases if you want to go crazy with things with these things and we are going to go a little bit crazy with these things now now I did notice at least for this high-rise it felt like if I put it on the wrong way it didn't fit in right so I'm not sure if that's really the case or not but I I did have a little yeah, I was kind of wondering about that I think this one will fit in either way maybe but the park you can see the park here the one for the park this is going to it only fits in one specific position so you can't really kind of move this around although the diamonds see right now I have that water kind of running on this side this is supposed to be the water according to that uh, how that one on the manual was painted but because this is a diamond you can rotate you can rotate these around into different shapes now having one scene base is cool but I wanted to kind of just show off because I, I think one of these is going to be quite lonely and if you really want to have some like fun with these things and you want to maybe make uh, something a, be, be a little bit more creative you can what I did was I went ahead and I actually got I got three of these scene bases here so I think this is kind of quite cool because of the shape of these things then you can actually this is probably not going to work out too well here with my rotating wheel so I'm going to go ahead and remove this thing now so I can build a slightly larger city here so there you can kind of see so you can mix and match you can put these pieces together if you were to buy multiples of these scene bases here then yeah you can go quite crazy with these things now I'm going to have an extra park piece that's just going to be hanging off on the side. How could I make these nine pieces be more equal? So I guess that would be about the best that I can maybe do with these things. So this is about the same shape as then what you can expect with like an action base. Uh, was it four I think that has three of the hexagon shapes to it. So that looks quite cool and then if you were to have actually two HG scale kits there you can have like a Zaku and an RX 78 you can have you can pose like two of these units like fighting over the city like they're flying over it and that looks quite cool I would have to say and then also because these are going to be the same shape as the snow and the desert fields and maybe you can have like a city that is next to a snowy field what have you or a city that is next to a desert because we got these city pieces are just in like a diamond shape then you can actually have like you could 
you doesn't have to you don't have to put them in like the hexagon shape then you can make them s smaller and thinner and then you can kind of connect these together so maybe you would like to build like a city with uh, like sandwich between two like desert fields or maybe even between two snow fields that is something that you could do just like kind of the freedom that you have with these pieces it's really fun just to be able to play with these things it kind of kind of reminds me a bit of like uh, the old sim city game if you ever played that you just kind of build in your own city you're building your own customized customized scene base and that's kind of quite quite cool it looks cool so you can go you can go really really crazy here so let's take a look at the manual here again for a second because they actually showed off if you were to buy quite a few multiples of these and they made quite a bigger shape i guess uh I would need to have bought a few more of these pieces in order to make this a giant shape. Actually, I thought I, I should have counted this maybe before I did this video, just to... I would have gotten one more if I could have made this exact shape, because that looks quite cool when you get a whole ton of these things all connected together. And then here also, it shows off like the different kinds of shapes that you can do, because in one pack you only get the three pieces, so they're only kind of showing off like the different kinds of uh, positions that you could do with just like the three pieces, so... That looks quite cool and then you'll notice here just even with like a simple like panel line type of wash it really brings out the depth of the building so you don't have to maybe if you don't want to go crazy with painting these things then even just like a simple panel wash on the buildings especially is going to really bring out those details and really make them look quite nice all right let's take a look at the back side of the manual and then you can just get a quick view of how this thing goes together showing off the different shapes and you got that pole there and it's showing off that yeah these these things can work with like the different type of scene bases there so you got like the two desert pieces here with like a city in the corner and then you have got like two more pieces on the edge here so that looks quite nice it's really really fun all right so another thing that i was mentioning about earlier and one of the reasons i kind of doubt that these pieces might actually be or the buildings might not actually be correctly scaled in 1 1 44th is another type of these something that looks a bit similar to these scene bases with the little tiny city buildings and the parks and all that jazz what have you is another item that we sell on our site that is actually also something that is a bit quite popular these geo crepers that we also sell on the site and there will be a link for these on the video in the description below i think they actually pretty much line up quite well with the scale of these customized scene bases and you can see here so one thing with the geo crepers here it's got this black base on the bottom and you can actually you're supposed to be able to kind of like mix and match these whoops and that one uh, so you got like a thin base actually these ones here these samples here these are for like the the type that are supposed to be able to break apart and you're kind of going to be able to do some like cool damage damage type of dioramas so you can remove that there so you can see there's like a thin a thin base on the bottom and then you can put that there so that with that shown and i actually you can see here i did actually break that a little bit <gasps> oh no but that's actually exactly what this product was for for this one anyway they've got other cool versions that we're going to take a look at in a second so with this little display base on the bottom of it it's a little bit higher i think than the height of the scene base four but it nearly lines up quite well i think with the scene base you can see there and that looks quite awesome the buildings are i think the scale for the two buildings between the scene base and for the geo crepers i think they actually line up quite well because you don't really have the scene base because it's also meant to be posed with like the gundam kits they don't they didn't really want to go crazy with like a high-rise style of buildings so they, they didn't give you like this style of high-rise but even with that said i think the scale for these buildings here on the scene base and for the geo crepers they're pretty close i mean just look at the windows between these kind of buildings it looks they look like the floors the height of the floors for these buildings they look pretty similar i do have to say so i think if you wanted to go really crazy with making a really awesome looking diorama for your 1144 scale gundam kits then you can go with these maybe pick up a few of these geo craper units as well and these things they're really not that expensive 
The GeoCrapers, like one of these square blocks of the GeoCraper buildings, they are on our site for like around 600 yen, I think it is, just for one of these, and that is quite nice. So this one comes, this this is the, the break apart one that I mentioned earlier, so you can like put, make it damaged. And actually that would be really cool for making a diorama scene with the Gundam kits as well, because if you were to break apart some of these buildings, then you can make them look damaged, like there actually is a battle going on with the Gundam kits, and maybe they have been hit by a rocket from a Zaku, or they got crushed by some other kind of mobile suit as they are battling in the city. So check, definitely check out the damaged unit versions if you wanted to go crazy with making a cool kind of damaged type of scenic base as well. So that would be quite cool. And then we have, so this was the damage type version here. And they also have like these pre-painted, really tall high rise type of buildings. And there's a little shopping mall on the side here. So let's put them here on the other side of the park. So this is kind of looking quite cool. And then they also, for the Geocrapers, they also had this uh, Edo style castle. Now this one, I don't have a base for this one. I think the base might have been sold separately, but uh, we've got a spot in the park Hey, let's put one let's put the castle on the park and actually even just placing this on top that actually kind of looks quite cool too just having that sitting there hey let's put my other city piece here in the back so you yeah, know we're getting a nice looking city going on here actually I've got a second one of these long tall style buildings so let's maybe put this up here and then I have actually I have an, one last of these geocrapers and they have a geocraper for the Tokyo Tower and we can have maybe Tokyo Tower sitting on the side there as well so yeah this is kind of quite fun you make your little city with your, the geocrapers and with these scenic bases and then you can have your because this is for Gundam too so you can have your Gundam in here somewhere you can pose him he's doing like a city battle so that's quite, quite awesome, quite cool. And this is for the scene base as well as the Geocrapers. They're not made by, Geocrapers are not made by Bandai. They're by, made by a separate company, but we do sell them on the site and they're really not that expensive. And then you can make some really, really cool looking CD dioramas, I have to say, with these, all these pieces here. So thank you very much for watching if you would like to also play with some making some cities and making some cool dioramas be sure to check out these items in the links below also be sure to hit that subscribe button below if you are not subscribed already thank you very much for watching guys hope you are all staying safe and taking care and we will see you again soon for more review and more uh, pre-order stuff and what have you all right and that's going to wrap it up for this video take care